<laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think so. Uh, so let me ask you, so I just have a, a, a few questions few left. Questions um, left. Um, what's the best, what's piece, the of best piece of advice that you ever got? You ever got? The best piece of advice I've ever gotten. It's also another great question. Um, well, the, I, one of a really good piece of advice, and this goes out to the world because as a writer, you know, everybody gets very, very kind of hung up on, oh my God, I need an agent, I need a manager, and you know, in many respects, you do. But somebody very smart once said to me, you don't need a a, a um, agent or manager, you need a representable product or a project. And it's like if you have that very representable project, somehow or other the agent manager, agent or manager will appear. But we tend to put the cart before the horse, especially newer writers. It's like, oh my God, I can't, if I don't have an agent, I'm never going to get any work. I'm never, what if I, if I, okay, I write a script, what am I going to do with it? You know, um, uh, and it's like, so I need that agent, I need that, that manager to help me get it out, but it's not always foolproof. And, you know, I've, I've had many agents and managers over my career, uh, you know, as, as many writers have who've been in it long enough and and you know it's a it's a it's a mixed bag you know in terms of what anybody's able to do for you i would say my to that to you know to flip that that question around my best advice is do not wait for somebody to do something for you if i waited for for, for anybody to, to to you know to really give me permission to write that script or or, or say gary we're going to hire you to write this book and we'll publish it i'd still be waiting for it. You have to put things into motion, and you know we hate as writers. You know it's one of the, one of those few fields where you you, know, you live on spec basically, basically, and you know you can. The good news is that you can write without being hired, and hopefully then turn it around and sell it. As opposed to actors who really can't act unless somebody hires them to do it. Even if they're being hired to be in a play for free, they they still you know they still they, somebody needs to say yes. But I just say if there's something you want to do. You just you have to go out and, and, and do it. Now you may you may, can't sell it yourself necessarily. Maybe you will. Maybe you know people that you know you can get it to. But but you have to have that pro product first. So you, you want to have if you're starting off as a writer. You really want to have that great screenplay or TV pilot or you know. And nowadays when I was when I was starting out, you had to have like in television to work in television. You had to have a spec script of an existing show. So. You know, you had to have that Cheers or Golden Girls or, or you know, whatever was on, you know, in those in those years. Um, but now people will read. I'm always reading. Oh, some so and so got stepped on a show because they wrote a blog that that the, that the showrunner liked, or they wrote a short story, or and that's very encouraging. You know, one act play. Um, I mean, I to this day, if I submit something for an assignment or even the you know staff position or something, I'll I'll submit plays. I'll I'll now I'll submit my book. Um, I, it's, you want to show kind of a little more of a voice, uh, more than what a spec script used to, but, but the bottom line is don't let, don't let somebody, don't wait for somebody to give you the permission to do it. Um, because time goes very, very fast. And if you're saying, saying, all right, I'm going to move forward and in, in a year from now, I'm going to get somebody to say yes to my script. But the truth is that year goes very fast. And then if you have nothing to show for it and you, if you haven't written that script and you haven't made it a great script. Uh, you have less to show for that time, and little by little, life creeps up. You need to pay your bills. Uh, you end up. I saw too many really talented people sort of drop drop out of writing because it was just it was just too hard to uh, you know to make a living, which is sad. There are a lot of talented people. 